There are more than 100 dead in the streets due to political instability and tension. The European Union, the United States and the Organization of American States reject the voting results for the National Constituent Assembly, while Nicolas Maduro continues to pursue his political project of perpetuating himself in power. In reacting to this situation, the Holy See again expresses its deep concern for the radicalization and worsening of the crisis in the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, which is seen by the increase in numbers of dead, wounded and detainees. The Vatican issued a statement Friday stating that the Pope is aware of the situation and its humanitarian, social, political, economic and even spiritual implications. The Holy See calls on all political actors, and in particular the government, to ensure full respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms, as well as for the current constitution. They ask to avoid or suspend ongoing initiatives such as the new constituent assembly, which rather than promoting reconciliation and peace, fosters a climate of tension and confrontation and mortgaging of the future. At the same time, it called for the ideal conditions for a negotiated settlement, as is requested in this letter from December 1, 2016. This includes the release of political prisoners, new elections for the National Assembly to regain their powers, and international health assistance. Finally, the Holy See especially appeals to the Venezuelan government to respect human rights and the current constitution in place. They also ask for the security forces to not use force in a disproportionate manner. The Pope assures the world of his prayer for the country and invites all the Christians in the world to pray for Venezuela during these difficult times.